Hello, I'm Reverend Garth Schumacher, and again, you've come to the lectionary Bible study of the Congregational United Church of Christ of Amory, Wisconsin. Thank you for being here. Would you please pray with me? God of rejoicing, we ground ourselves in your promise that righteousness and justice will prevail. Guide us as we begin the work of leading lives of love, peace, and integrity. Show us the way to share the good news with others. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, this week, this Sunday, uh, the lectionary leads us along with John the Baptist in Luke chapter 3, verses 7 through 18. Now, in this story, it's you'll know this, uh, what happens when a group of people from Jerusalem come over the hill, and he's down there on the Jordan River, in it or beside it, and they're coming to be saved, and he says, you brood of vipers. I guess he knows these people, but anyway, they have come, and he, I, I, I wouldn't say that to newcomers uh, to my church, but he does. He says it. He must know them, and who thinks you can outrun, outrun God and get back in God's good graces? Because evidently, they think because they're born Jewish, they are in good graces with God. But John has a different message He's saying there are things you must do. And, and so these people who really fear for their souls say, well, tell us, what should we be doing? And he says, okay, you with two coats, give one away. You with more than enough food, give some of that away. You tax collectors, be fair. Only collect what you are meant to collect. Hey, and you soldiers, stop extorting from people. Stop claiming that they are, uh, people are stealing or have lied to you or something like that so that you, you can extort money from them. So he's telling them to live a good and decent life. And that really, in essence, is what God wants. Not that you are born into the family tree of God, but that you are actually acting on the scriptures and living a life that's good. And then he goes on to say, and they, they ask him, uh, <clears throat> are you the Messiah? And he says, no, no, no. The one following me, I can't even tie his sandals. I baptize with water. The one who follows me is, it baptizes in the Holy Spirit and fire. And his winnowing fork is there on the threshing floor, and he's putting the grain in the granary, and the chaff he is throwing in the eternal fire. So, with any, many other exhortations, he continues to preach the good news. Well, this is a scary one, but what always catches my ears when I hear this is there are tax collectors and there are soldiers, we assume Roman soldiers, the occupiers who are there in the group. They're looking for something too. You see, even all sinners, everyone deserves to be with God. Even the oppressors are feeling oppressed by the system that they are living in. And John is giving them a way out. So as we live our lives, we have to ask ourselves, is this the kind of life that Jesus would want us to live? Am I giving enough? What, what can I do? But there are false prophets out there, and they will give all kinds of information. And unfortunately, we being human beings, We'll listen to what they are saying and say, well, does that validate what my wrong thinking is doing? Then I'm going to listen to that. There are false prophets. There were false prophets during the time of John the Baptist, and there are false prophets today. There are Christian leaders who express a faith that does not resemble the good news of Jesus Christ, that lifts up the lowly, that lifts up the lowly and marginalized 
that moves with compassion and that works for the wholeness and welfare of all humanity and creation. Sometimes the false prophets manifest in teaching what is antithetical to the gospel, just as often it's realized in actions that perpetuate the brokenness of the world. It's enough to make you want to scream, isn't it? It's very difficult. But again, Jesus told us to love all, even our enemies. You see, oppressors are broken people. Jesus commands us to love, and it is an act of mutual benefit. Hate has never healed anyone. Love builds bridges, dismantles evil systems, and creates the balm for healing. What then should we do? I love Micah, the prophet Micah's saying in chapter 6, verse 8, You hear, O mortal, what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with your God. And I would add Jesus spreading the good news. Would you please pray with me? May the peace and love and grace of God, which passes all understanding, be in your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Go in peace. Amen. And amen. And amen.